Garth, good morning. Hello, who are you? How can I help you today, sir? I'm here for Mr. Ramirez. I have a 10 o'clock appointment with him. That's right. Yeah, are you Mr. Ramirez? I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. Well, so, I, I've I been deceived in the past, sir, so that's why I asked the appropriate questions. All right, let's go have a meeting. Okay. I've got the MOU with me to discuss all the pertinent points, the right questions, and uh, hopefully I can get some coherent answers from you okay. on the subject. All right. I'm following you. Uh, uh, we're meeting right here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. That doesn't bother me. All right, so you have a copy of the MOU? Uh, which MOU are you speaking of, sir? Uh, the Memorandum of Understanding between the San Francisco Department of Public Health. You need me to? Yeah, just excuse me one second. Yeah, I'm sorry, real quick. Um, That's why I went in a private room. Isn't it wonderful? I know, you're going to defer. Typical. Unacceptable, but typical. Pardon me for the interruption. Uh, okay. How about a no? You can't take me to a private room so that it won't happen again? I'll tell you it quite can't honest. be professional? Excuse me, just a second. Another interruption. Okay, no problem. I'm glad I scheduled. Sorry, pardon me for one second. I do need to take this. Uh, no, so, no, I won't pardon you, but go ahead and do what you're going to do anyway. Thank you. It's on video. Captain Ramirez, how can I help you? Well, folks, professionalism, concern, compassion, best practices. Busy, busy. Okay, Mr. Garza. That must be nice. Okay, so this is a memorandum of understanding between the San Francisco uh, Department of Public Health and the Sheriff of San Francisco Department for Security Services. I'm, so you don't have one, correct? I don't have one what? A copy of this. Not at this time. Uh, have you ever seen one? I read several memorandums of understanding with several agencies. Have you seen this, this one time? with the Department of Public Health? Uh, Please, sir, do not be evasive. Just answer the question. Second. Not my problem, sir. What can I help you, sir? What can I do for you? You can answer the questions I'm about to propose to you regarding this and the lack of proper law enforcement here, the fact that I've been subjected to illegal uh, activity here, the fact that on 411, you know, I was denied emergency services and your officers did not step in and do anything, the fact that I was assaulted that day. I mean, this memo speaks to all these issues. Are your officers trained in ADA compliance and medical law and federal law and what's required under JCO to be here and to properly uh, provide patient care and uh, public safety? Our officers do all the training that's required of them by law. They are? Mm -hmm. Cool, okay. So here I brought an extra copy for you to have so that we can go down this and we can discuss the issues and you can answer, like I said, coherently. Okay. All right. So here's what I'd like to do, uh, Mr. Garza. Mm, what would you like to do, Mr. Ramirez? Unfortunately, at this time, I haven't seen this document. Oh, I thought I you said know. you'd seen many of them I between many this. agencies. I don't know what the stuff is. It, you just handed me. You don't. What does it say across the top? Please read it. I haven't had the opportunity to read it. What sir. does it say across the top? What is its title? So here's what I'd like to do. Uh, you're not going to read the title because it's I've just already read it into the thing. Are we going to play mind games here, sir, no, or are we going to continue is, to go this forward? Is, what I'd like is an opportunity to review the documents you've given me. 
because uh, you've never seen them before. The Department of Public Health. Is that is that your assertion? This document you just provided me, I've never seen. Oh, from the Department of Public Health. From you. For the sheriff. No, no, no. This is, the, this is the copy from the Department of Public Health. So. It is signed by the sheriff and the Department of Public Health. So you've never seen it. Okay, well, thank you. What I'm telling you is... I understand what you're trying to tell you me. you just gave me. Yes. That you what, just handed me. What does it say across the top of it, sir? I, I haven't seen what you've given me. Okay, what does it say across the top, sir? Well, I see uh, it says Memorandum of Understanding between the San Francisco Department of Public Health and the Sheriff's Department. Thank you. That's, that's quite enough. Okay, go ahead. So but now what are you proposing? You just handed me this copy. I don't know what you have, what the contents are, what you've prepared for me here. I'd like to review it. Uh, and when I review it, then I'll have an opportunity to give you some. Now, this is a 2015 document, it says here. It's boilerplate. They're all the same. Boilerplate, all the same. Okay. Let's continue. So, what can so I you're going to review it, and then what? Well, well should I, I ask you the questions now so that you, when you're reviewing it, so you can come up with the answers? So, what you is you can submit any questions. No, sir. I'm going to put it on video. No, sir. We're going to have another meeting. If you want to submit questions... Are you going to have another meeting with me? Sure. Okay, so when so can we set up another meeting please, to go over the questions? Well, you can submit questions in writing in advance. No, thank you. I'll give just me submit a chance them. to review and prepare some answers for you. And give we'll you a there. chance. You, sir, I, I, I think I'll just come in and ask the questions, and then I'll wait to see how long you take okay. to answer them. So you want me to look at this document and review it, right? That's number one. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Number two, you're going to submit some questions to me no, in writing. No, no, you don't do that. Okay. No. All right. Set up a meeting. You're going to review it. When's our next meeting? So I can come in and discuss the questions. Then, of course, you can take months to review the questions and answer them and get back to me. So when is our next meeting? So I can continue to proceed you, the you show. You tell me when you're available. Anytime you are. Okay. At this time, I don't have my calendar in front of me. You know how to get a hold of me. You've called me and uh, emailed a couple of times. Mm -hmm. you continue to communicate. And, and, and how many times had I called and emailed you? That I know of. You called me last week. Oh, and the weeks before I hadn't? Because so, they're on video on YouTube. Uh, a call on video? Yes. Okay. Is uh, that illegal? At this time, what I'd like to do is, uh, I don't, I'm not prepared for this meeting, obviously. Well, obviously. Because I have not had this document before. Yes, I agree. Uh, so in the future, if you want me to answer questions, please provide all the material beforehand. So no, I can sir. Review it. No, sir. Uh, I will, I will, I, you will have the document. Uh, hopefully you can digest it. <laughs> So that you'll know yeah, that what help. the answers will be. That would help. You know, yes. So. Because if you digest it, the answers will be quite simple because they'll contradict what the document says as to what happened. What else so do we have to that do? would be fine. No problem. What so, else, Mr. Garza? Uh, when's the next meeting? I'll get, it, I'll get a hold of you. I'll call you yeah. and I'll videotape it to see, you know, just how quickly this is going to happen mm -hmm. or how much the delay is going to be. And we'll go from there. So, Mr. Garza, like I said, please, if you'd like, so that I can be uh, on time. If you could submit any questions in writing, I'd greatly appreciate that. Mm. Thank you, sir. I've already given you my response. I could give it to you for the third time if you would like. Okay. Is that what you would like? Yep. The answer is no. I will come in with the questions so that the audience can see how long it's going to take you because all the questions flow from the document and the fact that the, what was said on the document was not performed. I'm going to hold you accountable. Okay. Do you understand the concept of accountability? Thank Very you. Well. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Have a nice day. God bless. And thank you for this. And I will continue to follow up. And I'll probably call you tomorrow. So is, is one day, two days enough for you to digest that and understand it fully, comprehend it? I probably need a few more days than that. A few more days than that. Just understand the mission and the scope of it and what your requirements are under the MOU. And you guys were properly trained. Anything further? <laughs> thank you for all this. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's most enjoyable. So, Mr. Garza. Yes. Yes, Mr. Ramirez. Feel free to schedule. Uh, next I shall. Week is now, busy. I came in yesterday and I requested security because I've been accosted by the staff here. Okay. And one of the staff members came up and the security guard was behind him, did not, you know, stand between me and him, did not provide security, and I was escorted out. And then I was told by that guard that the administration had requested that I leave the premises. Now, what am I to do if I'm seeking my medical care and follow up if, you know, security is sure. violating and not enforcing the law enforcement rights. So for any medical concerns, my understanding is your point of contact no. is Troy Williams. No, sorry, that's unacceptable. So I did not please accept contact it. contact him for No, that's that unacceptable. What part don't you okay. understand, Mr. Ramirez? I've explained to you who your point of contact and is. And I told you that's unacceptable. So is that my Hobbesian's choice? If I don't go through that, I'm going to be escorted out? 
Is that the only choice I have? I want Mr. you to say it on Williams, camera. At this point, is, is the only choice who you are supposed to contact. Oh, okay. And if I don't accept that and I want to escalate, I will be escorted out. No, I would recommend you talk to him and make some. I've arrangement. talked to him three times. I've got the videos. Okay. He has not assisted me, and security has not assisted me. So that dead end blind alley doesn't work. So now I'm asking you the appropriate question. What do I do? And the appropriate answer for you is. Please contact Mr. Williams. Ah, once again, it's a Hobbesian's choice that doesn't work. No, sir. What part don't you understand? You have his office number and you have his email. Oh, number. continue to tell me things that you don't work. Is that is that is that risk management? Deflect, defer, and deny, and never respond correctly. I've told you it doesn't work. What do you not understand? The do not work part. There's a processor. Yes, and it doesn't work. Now what do I do, sir? Let that process work. It doesn't, so now what do I do, sir? Ask Mr. Williams for an alternative. No, sir, I'm not dealing with him. Okay. I'm asking security to enforce my legal rights here. Are you gonna deny them? Uh, we make sure to maintain everybody. Uh, legal rights? Okay, so now legal my legal rights are for an ADA representative and everything else that I've asked for. Okay. So can we get that today? Can I you? will pass that on to Mr. Williams. Oh, and requesting. when that fails? Make sure he takes care of that. Oh, and when that fails? I don't know that it will. Oh, we I do. let the process work. Oh, it hasn't. Okay. So now what's, so your, what's your next Hobbesian's choice that I'm not going to accept? next item is I have another meeting. I can walk you out if you'd like to talk to me while I'm walking. Oh, I know. What if I decide I want to go around and, and, and see other departments? I'm free to do that in videotape. What is the videotaping policy now here? I think you and I know well established what the video policy is. Oh, too bad. It, too bad. That, like too bad. To. It's never changed. And for the last 20 years, I've been denied by your staff the proper videotaping. Oh, pardon me. You're videotaping right now, correct? Yes. And and for the it's last 20 years, when I tried okay. and was illegally escorted out by your department, I, and I that's can't on do videos. About 20 years ago, sir. Uh, I well, you can say whatever you want. I've got right the now. videos. Okay. So thank you. All right now. Bye. I'll call you. Please do. I shall. Trust me. Till till I'm dead. Which, you know, at this rate, ain't gonna be long. Better to die with honor and principles than to succumb. Folks, what have we learned? Days to digest a few pages of mission statements and uh, protocol. Oh, <sighs> it just gets better and better, better and better. Thank you, camera. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, God.